Hey everyone, it's Strike. Uh, welcome to the second episode of Redstone Quickies. In this episode, uh, we're going to transmit a signal downwards vertically uh, using only a one block wide space to do it. So this would be great if you're really um, tight on, on uh, space and you want to get a signal downwards uh, about the same distance as, uh, as a traditional redstone wire. So let's say you have, um, I don't know, a, a platform up here and um, a button that you want to get down to, I don't know, your basement or something like that. Um, so what we're going to do is actually throw a, a, uh, a regular piston, not sticky, right underneath that. And essentially what, what's going to happen is, yeah, we'll, we'll press the button and that's going to push the whole sequence of blocks down. So at the bottom end, we're going to need something to push them back up to reset. So I'm going to put another, oops, put another piston up. And then we need to detect this signal occurring. So we're going to put a piece of glass here and a uh, detector kind of circuit. That's our signal coming out. What's on now? Um, of course, we need some way to trigger this to fire back up. So I found, um, let's see. Well, our, our uh, piston is right under there. And I'm just going to run a little redstone wire back there and use three repeaters set on the max timing. You might be able to decrease that a little bit. You'll have to experiment. And just feed that uh, right through, back uh, through all that. So anyway, I hit the button, output's on, and then it resets itself. So if you want an on-off switch, clearly you couldn't really... You, you could do this with a lever, I guess, but it would be a little tricky because this would have to continually try to push up until it's able to while this is extended and it just gets kind of messy. So I'm going to use, uh, I think it's Docs Tiny something. Um, T flip flop design. I think that's on a three. Uh, it might not work. I don't really remember. Okay, so it's on, and then if we hit the button again, and it turns off, we hit the button again, it turns on. So we basically have a toggle switch um, that is being transmitted downward using only a one block wide space. And uh, what I ended up doing, actually let me show you where I'm using it. Uh, so this is my, is my pirate ship that I've been working on. Um, and the way that I'm using it is going to be from the uh, from the command deck or whatever you want to call it up here. Uh, I got a couple buttons to fire off the cannons, which I haven't yet built. Um, right now, it's just going to play a sound. But uh, from what you can see, I mean, th this is going to be my cabin. So I initially had an in an enormous chunk of this room used to transmit these two signals downward. With this, I've got, I mean, it almost looks like it fits in the room. It's, you don't even know what it's for. Um, and that goes down a couple more layers, down to uh, what we had just built. Um, with the detector, it spits it back up, and then the uh, T flip-flop, which turns on or off a, a clock, which is going to shoot off my uh, my cannons or dispensers. And so anyway, that's what I'm using it for. And uh, hopefully you'll find a good use as well. Thanks for watching.